Good morning. Welcome to Indiana Farm Boy. Here we are this morning. Beautiful morning. The road. We are doing some tiling today. So, we're gonna get this excavator started, warming up, and get ready shortly. The base station will be here. Uh, and we're gonna put in some four inch tile. We put in a six inch main over here last night. And a six inch main down there, I guess last night, yesterday, we put in two six inch mains. And this right here, uh we destroyed uh an old main there's an old uh six uh i think it was a six inch slash eight inch switch over um that we uh broke so we this this right here used to go i under the uh, highway i think um but it was breaking down i want to say there's about probably 10 blow holes up through there that's not a very long run it was just completely failing actually i fixed it down here the year before just long enough we knew it was gonna have to be replaced but yeah this one doesn't have an animal guard i actually ran out of animal guards so i have to come back put an animal guard on this one and the one up there there's a reason why this field's all messed up is because there's a fi two fiber lines and an old pipeline that goes through this field across this ditch it keeps on going uh supposedly i think the fiber goes all the way to texas um but in there uh there's uh two fibers about 15 foot apart and there may even be three but one's an old pipeline anyway we didn't want to cross it we didn't want to dick with that so broke it broke the old main in between and then we ran a new main that side of the fiber and we got this main down here to hook into we're going to actually run a lateral alongside this main on this side we're going to run one up kind of along the road and then we're going to go up there kind of in the middle there's a little of a little bit of a low spot uh and put about three laterals here and hopefully help the farmer out uh this field really doesn't have drainage issues but when this water floods this ditch I want to say it's about two foot higher. The wall of that ditch is two foot higher than right here or so. So the water has nowhere to go. If there's no tile main down here, there's the water's just going to sit here. It's in and it has to naturally drain. Uh, let's try this. I'm going to dig a connection here. And I'm just going to have to guess because I don't have the GPS here set up. So we're just going to estimate where I want this connection so that way I'm happy with it, so I think and about probably here. Looks like a good spot for a connection. So we're gonna go ahead and go up here, drive up here, and we're gonna start digging here. So start digging the connection. and check and make sure this is where I want my connection to go pretty much straight away looks pretty good so that's what we're gonna call it go ahead and dig right here now this is a six inch main so we will actually drill tap tees into it uh, thanks to cent uh, central plastics Chris Gooder, their new tap tees. I guess they've they've had them probably. I don't know. I've been long been out two years, maybe, maybe longer. Them things are the sh this just the cats me out. Uh, the old tap tee styles they were not that nice. Always worried about them. I never. When I started my business, I worked for another contractor. We used them for a little bit and the switched over. So I. To be honest have never 
personally on my jobs ever installed anything but central plastic tap tees so but they are way better than what we used to have and uh yeah they are awesome so i must say i don't think anybody anymore still use the old the old style because everybody fell in love so fast with them and uh Go ahead and knock that bucket uh, tooth pin in. I don't know what is wrong with these pins on this uh, excavator, but I have all kinds of issues with these pins wanting to come out. And um, why are you asking? Am I trying to use a tape measure? Trying to have to avoid walking to the truck, but that ain't gonna work. Me here in a minute. It's always them outside teeth, which I suspect because the way the pressure is, it always is trying to force them in a certain direction. But the middle ones, you never, never have an issue with. It's always the two outside ones. So, but this main ought to be about four, about, about, should be about four foot. That's what I usually run my mains at, about four foot now I know where we cut through the hill over there hopefully you can see let me spin around here where i cut the hill over there they uh it was like stroll of 6.7 inches deep or something like that i think eight maybe which is deeper than the plow is actually supposed to plow but we had the frame in the ground and the wheels all the way up and it was staying on grade so i don't know it worked it worked, that's all that matters. It's in and it stayed on grade and that's what we care about. So grade matters, so. And we ended up getting enough grade to stay deeper than the old main, so. <clears throat> which I was a little worried that we wouldn't have enough depth. That's why I tried to get every little bit that I could. And yeah, so it all worked out really nice, so. We are looking for, I hope you can see, I'm hoping, let me adjust you a little bit. We're looking for, should be a white pipe, and we ought to be about there. So, let's see here what we got cooking on this next scoop. Uh, there she is, I can see it now. So, you probably couldn't see that. I don't know if you could have or not, but you're gonna see it in a second. So, they are right there, hopefully you can see. You know, I'm not close up as the pipe we are looking for, so we're gonna go ahead and clean that off there a little nicely. Nice and easily. Go ahead and dig that up. And yeah, so there she is. The pipe we are looking for. So now I like to go ahead and scoot back and go ahead and Go ahead and knock down all of this dirt. Go ahead and dig this up.
think I dug this connection a little longer, but I'm gonna be happy with that. Clean that up. And uh, when the plow sits down in there, I'll get down in there in a minute, but I'll, or a little later, I'll give him the head camera and let him wear it and show you how you do a connection. But right there is pretty good what we're looking for. We don't need a lot of grade. This, this place is pretty flat, but there's more grade up there than you think. Um, so I don't know if you can see that, but there's turkeys way off in the distance going across the field. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but yeah, that was pretty cool. So we are going to scoot over here and dig a connection for the lateral that I'm going to do on the other side of this old main. And then we're going to dig one in between, I think. And so yeah ought to dry this keep this low this bottom ground plenty dry so i want to put one on this side of the old main because this lays wet up in there and this one i'll have plenty of grade on even though i'm on a higher hill here because well it's deep so and it's deeper than the old main and the old main can make it so i have faith that my new main can make it so we're gonna go ahead and dig this connection here which is going to be a deep one as you can see there yesterday i i was getting stuck we ended up uh, i have a second machine that's down there farther down in the hill which i'm sure you'll see that before you see this again because it's in the other video and um, so it had to pull me and we bro broke a toe strap so end up I ordered a Yankum, but it's not here yet, so we had a tow strap. Hopefully, hopefully we don't need one today, because, well, we have to use chains, or I think I have one more tow strap that isn't broken, um, but we're hard on straps, because flat straps don't like being good connections that aren't flat, because it, it wears the edges faster phrase them so uh, so yeah <clears throat> ruined a really nice uh, flat strap yesterday but I mean it's part of it part of this part of this stuff is just uh, you we it's what we had with us and we had to get the job done and uh, sucks to ruin a nice toe strap but that's the way it works that's the way the world goes around i bought it to use it so i mean actually take my sunglasses off because the dirt is so dark down in there i can't i can't see anything with the sun kind of being up coming up and being in my eyes i can't see anything and i'm actually gonna spin here spin around here and uh try to sit level because well i know this pipe's on some grade here and so i just want to spin around here and sit level to dig this connection just that's what i'm gonna try to attempt to do here let's see how well let's see how well that works but oh yeah that's working all right this main is plenty deep so really probably got a five foot deep connection here at least so. I don't really need the whole connection that deep probably so I don't necessarily need to dig it all but I need
Let's go, let's go.